Virgin River is finally back and its timing could not be more perfect. I know that the title of this video already spoils how I overall feel about the new episodes of the show, but I can't deny that the cozy atmosphere of the small town of Virgin River is all I need in these lovely autumn days. With each new season, I realize how much I invested in these characters since they first premiered back in December 2019. I don't know if it's Rob McCare's lovely writing or the magic that Netflix showrunners add to the original story, but it is certain that this show is shining bright like a diamond as a small, simple, and yet somehow highly precious show among the, all the other Netflix series. Unfortunately, this season has not been my favorite so far, personally, and I'll explain why in a second. Nevertheless, I admit that I'm more than glad to have it back. Okay, let's start with Mel and Jack's pregnancy, which was the topic that dominated the previous season of the series. We spent an entire season trying to figure out whether the baby was from Jack or not. And it was a great mystery with lots of emotional tension that kept us going with excitement and curiosity. So when we learned that the baby was from Jack, we all experienced great relief as the ending rewards were worth waiting for. In this new season, we watched the couple preparing for the birth of their first child together. However, Mel's pregnancy is high risk, leading her to contemplate leaving her medical clinic to prioritize her health and well-being. It was a nice change to see the couple work together for the same purpose of having a healthy child. And yeah, I'm not sure if it is my toxicity or not, but watching things going quite smoothly for the two made me feel a bit bored. I mean, everything was too fine, making me feel quite meh about the entire situation. One problem was Charmaine, as always, whose major secret of the fact that the twins were not actually from Jack shocked us all in the previous season. In this season, Charmaine continued being Charmaine, and that's all. We found out that the father of the babies is Calvin, which is kind of disappointing, to be honest. I mean, is not even a reveal that is supposed to be surprising at this point. After all, if we were to guess, the majority of us would have mentioned Calvin's name, I'm pretty sure. So that storyline also lost its excitement pretty quickly. Another interesting development in this episode was the fact that Brady basically became a central character by confronting Jack. In fact, the scenes where he was kidnapped by Melissa were the few ones that truly felt like some action was happening in the season finally. Jack tried to intervene in the situation but received advice from Mike to prioritize his safety. This was pretty ironic considering the aftermath in which Mike was shot by Jean, who is Melissa's right-hand man. This resulted in Mike falling into a coma, and watching Bri waiting by his bedside as his life hangs in the balance was very upsetting. The season concluded with a time jump to Christmas, where Joey revealed to Mel the shocking love letters addressed to their mother. And that was the point that my interest in the season got shifted. This revelation hinted at a potential affair in their family's past, raising questions about Mel's paternity. The thing is, it was signaled that the potential love interest of Mel's mother was from Virgin River. And guess what? There are not many candidates to fit in that spot. In fact, the most likely candidate is none other than our beloved Doc, which means that he might turn out to be Mel's true father. And I don't know what to feel about such an outcome. All I know is that I can't wait for the rest of the season to hit Netflix on November 30, even though overall, this season was pretty boring so far. Have you enjoyed Virgin River Season 5? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.